I'm going to change the front disc pads on my 2006 Toyota Tundra double cab and I'm going to show you it's so easy a local realtor can do it. First off you got to loosen your lug nuts, you got to have a jack and a few other tools. All right so I got the tire off and one other thing you need to do because this is going to take you back to your, you know, your days of the past, you're going to have to put on classic rock. I got some uh, Joe Walsh, I think. The tools you're going to need, needle nose pliers and a screwdriver. And the obvious, the jack and, uh, and things to take off your tire. But uh, let's dive in and we'll show you how easy it is. So basically, this is a, a kind of a close up of the brakes. The only thing you need to take off is this spring, so you need to figure out which way it goes. And these two two little cotter pins, and these two pins, and then ex expand it, and then put the new ones in. You gotta make sure you put them in the right way, but it's, it's pretty simple. So what I'm gonna do first is to release these little pins. And they kinda go from the inside to out. And it's that easy. And then it's just gonna be loose there. Then you take your needle nose pliers, grab these, and pull them out. And make sure they don't fly away and lose them, like I almost did there, okay? And then you gotta make sure you, you know where you put them. So I'm gonna put them right here. So these two pins, Okay, there's one, two. Next, what you need to do is you need to compress these pistons. And again, I'm not a mechanic, I'm a realtor. So I don't really know what they are, but they're pistons. And so what you wanna do is you wanna kinda of wedge a screwdriver in between the rotor and the pad. Okay, and I, you gotta find somewhere where you get a little distance. So right here, you kind of see it it's slowly compressing. So I do a little bit on the top or on the bottom. Do a little bit on the top. And then I could screw the, put the screwdriver down here on the bottom and kind of push against it. You don't want to scour the rotor here, so don't push too hard on the rotor. So kind of be gentle. And you always want to also, I have the hood open and I can keep an eye on the brake fluid because you don't want to overflow the brake fluid. So I'm going to go up and take a look. We're doing good. Okay, now that the pistons are compressed in, I want to make sure you get them all the way because the new pads are going to take up a lot of space. Okay, now you can pull these two pins here. Sometimes they're a little tough because they have a lot of dust on them. Okay, these come out pretty easily. Make sure you don't lose them. And when you do this, this little thing is going to fly out too. So you got to make sure you hold on to that and it just comes out like that. So always try to keep it in the same angle as where you just took out. It'll be a lot easier to put it back in. So now, you're going to just pull your pads out. Now these are the stock pads uh, from Toyota. I have 60, 72,000 miles on them, so they lasted quite a bit. And you also notice that they came with uh, these little two shims. I was told by the uh, auto parts store that I don't need those. So, so I'm gonna, you, there is a left and right. So here's the new pad. One thing, you don't wanna touch the brake. You don't wanna put any oil from your hands on that, okay? So you're gonna slide it in, just like the old one slid out. And you may need to tap it in, kind of wiggle. Your rotor will wiggle a little bit, but it should just slide in. Okay, now I'm gonna take out the other side. And as you see, the other side has this little, little tab. So you wanna make sure that it lines up right with the new one, okay? So I'm gonna push this in. Gonna have to wiggle it a little bit. And, uh, and on this one, like I told you earlier, you have to watch your hydro, your brake fluid so it doesn't overflow. And it came really close, but it didn't. So there you go. So they're in. Then you have to line up the holes. I'm gonna put the bottom one in first. 
you kind of have to wiggle them a little bit so they so they go through. Okay, there's that one. And I've kept my spring here at the same kind of angle that it came out. So I'm gonna make sure I put that in the same way. Okay. So this the spring goes on the inside. And if you if you forget, it's always best, you know, take out your iPhone and maybe take a picture of this while it's all put together before you take it apart. Okay? So push that through. Then you got your little pins. And you kind of rotate these pins so you can see them. Okay. There's one. There's two. Those lock in place. And then you just take these springs, pinch them in. So there you go. Everything's back. And literally, if you've done this before, it probably takes about five minutes per wheel. So really great cost savings. The brake pads, you have numerous choices of pads. I just went with what the uh, local, local uh, auto parts store recommended. I spent about $55 on these pads. They went right in. Saved myself probably a couple hundred, at least a couple hundred dollars from taking it someplace. So I hope they work. But uh, literally, replacing the front disc pads on a 2006 Toyota Tundra, piece of cake.